Hare Krishna, I am Ajay Prashar from Mass Lover. Today I am going to discuss with you the definition of arithmetic progression and some important key points and formulas of arithmetic progression of class 10th. To understand the class 10th chapter well and to score good marks in board exam, please do subscribe my channel. Now let's start. Observe the following patterns. 1, 4, 7, 10, 13. Second sequence is 2, 9, 16, 23. And the third sequence is minus 15, minus 10, minus 5, 0, 5. Now please note, please note that the difference between the two consecutive terms here is same in each sequence. In this sequence the difference is 3. In this sequence the difference is 7. And in this sequence, the difference is 5. The difference between the two consecutive terms is 5. Such pattern or sequences in which the difference between the two consecutive terms is same, we call them arithmetic progression or simply AP. And this common and this difference, we call them common difference and we denote it by the letter D. D may be positive, negative or zero. And to find the D, we generally use this formula, D is equals to A2 minus A1. Now, this we call it first term, this we call it second term, this is the third term, this is the fourth term and this is the fifth term. We write the first term by A1 and the second term by A2, the third term by A3, the fourth term by A4 and the fifth term by A5. We also denote the first term by the letter T1, T2, or T3, T4, so on. First term is A1 or T1, we also, uh, we also write it as A. The first term of AP is always denoted by A and the common difference is denoted by D. Now we will see some important formulas and important key point also of chapter arithmetic progression. AP is equals to AN is equals to A plus N minus 1 into D. Here A represents the first term, D represents the common difference, N represents the number of term. We also call it general term or we also call it last term. We also call it L is equals to A plus N minus 1 into D where L represents the last term. Now nth term from last, the formula is L minus N minus 1 into D where L represents the last term. For example, in a question, if the question like that, find the 20th term from the last of an AP, then we will apply this formula. Now, how to find the middle term of a finite AP? There are two types of question. If N is odd, if number of term is odd, for example, number of term is 17, then A N plus 1 by 2 is the middle term. For example, if N is 17, then 17 plus 1 by 2 mean 18 upon 2 be ninth term is the middle term. And if n is even, there are two middle terms. The first middle term is a n by 2 and the second term is a n by 2 plus 1. To find the sum of um, terms of an AP, we apply two far we have two formula. The first formula is Sn is n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 into d. And the second formula is Sn is n by 2 a plus a n, where a n represents the nth term and n by 2 a plus l. I have already explained you that a n and l is the same thing. Now some important key point. If the three number a, b, c are in AP, if three number are in AP, then their common difference remains same. Then b minus a must be equal to c minus v. Or we can say that when we shift v to this side and we get 2b is equal to a plus c. Very, very much important point. If in a problem the sum of, for example, say three numbers, four numbers or five numbers in an AP is given, then it is convenient to take the numbers. For three numbers, we will take always these numbers, A minus B, A, A plus D. I mean, if we have given the sum of three numbers, then we will always take these numbers, A minus D, A, A plus D. And we have given the sum of four numbers, then we will take uh, these numbers, A minus 3D, A minus D, A plus D, A plus 3D. And if we have given 5 number, we will take a minus 2d, a minus d, a, a plus d, a plus 2d. In the next video, we will discuss the problems of these first three points 
and in the next video we will discuss the problems of uh, the sum in point number 4 and 5 and then in the next video we will discuss the problems of key points relating to key points and in the last video we will discuss the important question that are covered in CBSC. Thank you.